getting a feel for the um, of the uh, new controller that I got. It's like it's another uh, what is it? Another uh, Xbox 360 controller. Not a 360, an Xbox One controller. That's what I normally use when it comes to any gaming, and it's 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 doing its job. Um, it's got some nice, comfortable pads. It's got additional buttons on here. In the meantime, I have about 13 stars left in the game to collect some shit. Okay, so let's see. Um, I haven't been to the earlier stages in a long while. You know what? Hang on. Let's do more of Cool Cool Mountain and Big Boo's Haunt. Haven't been there. No Actually, sometimes I talk to these guys and um, they'll hand over a Castle Star. Anything here? Yay! Jackpot! Here we go! Alright. Next up, let's talk to this guy. Um, there we go. Alright. I don't know why, but whenever you talk to, like, the toads in this game, they make a, um... They make a little lullaby tune. It's like, is that really their voice? Like, it's still, like, a fucking music box? Then in Mario Cut 64, there was, uh... That other sound. Uh, Fire Nico 13, thank you for following. What? Ow, Jesus! <laughs> Ow! 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 What the hell? Jesus! Who the fuck? J Jesse! <laughs> My Detroit Tigers are just Sorry. getting crushed right now, so hopefully your stream can cheer me up, Golden. God damn! Are you okay? I'm fine. You sound like you got hurt. No, no, just I, I was, I was turning up the volume, and then unexpectedly someone jumped in the call and made that, the, the, the toad noise. It was so interesting. It's fine, honey. It's okay, fine. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm okay. I'm sorry. Both of you. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> 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 oh <my God. laughs> I forgot that I had the volume turned up so fucking loud. <laughs> Now periodically. Oh God. <laughs> uh, I said I think I pretty much gave you the jump scare. You you actually gave me an appropriate jump scare. I'm proud of you. <laughs> oh yeah. Now that people are joining in. Oh. <laughs> 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 Uh, that's gonna be a night to remember. Uh, you know what? I needed that laugh. <laughs> you missed it! Oh, I hope somebody clips that. Someone's I probably mean, going to. Like, it's Golden's Twitch chat. They live for this shit. You think yeah. I'm gonna clip it? Yeah. Shit well, posting or memes. No! Damn it! <laughs> I hate this level. I hate this start. This race is so annoying. Don't you just love ice in video games? Ice levels <sighs> fun! What about ice cap zone? Actually, what's worse in a video game? An ice level or a water level? Uh, water, water. level. <clears throat> yeah, water. You know, it's just ice. Part... Go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. What have we done? We've caught ourselves in a loop. 
Um, as a part two to that question, oh. and this is for anyone, even the guys in chat that I can't currently read because I'm not on Twitch, but I'm just going to no! let somebody else do that for me. Um, have you ever played a game in which a water level wasn't as bad as the meme suggests? Yeah, it's Hydrocity Zone. Oh, uh, there... There was also, um, uh, an actual, uh, level in Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks that actually was a decent, uh... I was said, close uh, to being like, you know. if, I was going to be like Solar and be like, if you say water temple, I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> also. No, 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 no. Hi. Hello. <clears throat> How have you been, Death? I need... I'm better. I'm better. That's good. E. Uh, and we also have, uh, we have damn. a ramen. Hello. How have you been? I live again. Hey, hey welcome to the land of the living uh i am still in finals hell and i will not stop being in finals hell for the next 25 days but i have a little bit of time where i can just download some footage and sync up some stuff so i can just work on that while i cool. am in a while i'm in a call oh hell I'm about to search any something <clears throat> yes indeed I'm gonna, also, um, to answer your question in regards to why people don't like water levels... No, the question wasn't levels. why people don't like Damn the water level. I think Wait, the reason that why, like, for me anyway, with ice levels, you can at least tolerate the slipperiness. You can at least try to make a strategy to survive them. <clears throat> Whereas with water levels, you kind of have to be very quick and fast to get your oxygen back, or <laughs> else you're going to die. Well, you literally it's, have it's to immerse very, yourself in it. Yeah, it's very slow paced because you have to swim more often. That too. It's like with ice, you can get tactics like bee hopping or just, I don't know, being really meticulous and, you know, irritating yourself a bit, but otherwise going through it. With water, it's like, no, you have to go into it and sometimes you just have to drown. Unless it's one of those games where you can kind of just breathe underwater forever. Ah, yeah, water levels me. fucking suck. Water levels, I've never been able to get into. I can... I don't like ice levels. I think ice levels suck. But, man, Damn they're it. water levels. They're oh, very low. They're very hard to do right. I'm not saying it's impossible, but very few water levels. Again, levels Hydro City. Get it right. Hydrocity, okay. sorry. Hydrocity. Metrocity. Hydrocity. Hydrocity Zone Metrocity. from Sonic 3. Mm. Uh... <clears throat> yeah, because in that one, when you're in Act 2, you're going through a lot of loop-to-loops, and one of the coolest things is watching Sonic race on top of the surface. Ooh. Yeah. It's like it's like a deadly water slide. It's fucking cool. <laughs> it's very fast-paced. It, but does it make up oh for God. the barrel? Yes, it does. The barrel can... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know... Sorry if I bring this up into a... Like... How many of you know who Cybershell is? No idea. No idea. No idea. Uh, I, a new name for me. Okay. Uh, he's he's somewhat of a popular person from the Sonic community. He's he's a bit satirical in his humor. Um, he's a he's a dick. Um, most oh. notoriously, he talked about the uh, the spinning barrel, and he said that this barrel is so easy to figure out. I don't know why you're all so fucking retarded. You expel, like exhaust everything, and the only options you have left is up and down. And what do you know? It does something. Use your brains. Sonic is not about using your brains. It's about just Sonic is go fast. Yeah, that's it, barely. It kinda, you know, we ain't got no time. To... It, it, it kind of reminds me of um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna say their name because I'm pretty much sure it's gonna provoke some sort of negative reaction. Like a certain cartoon reviewer who <clears throat> reviewed the Sonic Two movie said it was a disappointment. But yet, if you watch his review, he basically is like, oh, as a Sonic movie, it's fucking great. But as a normal movie, uh, it's such a disappointment. It's a Sonic movie! I'm sorry. Like, okay, there's, there's really I am no such not thing... a Sonic fan. Yeah, there's no such thing as a but, normal movie. Go ahead, Robin. I am not a Sonic fan. Sonic 2 f rules. Yeah, I felt like a kid yeah. again watching that movie. Joey wasn't a fan of sonic either and i i got him into both movies <laughs> I, I still like, have i ahead. watched maybe it's because i was like incredibly depressed like the day before going to go see it 
Um, and going to go see it with a friend was nice, and we went to build there, and that was a whole thing. Uh, I think I've, I've talked about it on Twitter. Uh, it's just fucking fun. I watched the first movie the night before, and I'm like, yeah, I remember liking this. Granted, I took seven days to watch the first Sonic movie for the first time, so my memory of that movie is a little bit fucked. <laughs> but it was just great. I had a good time. I like it a lot, and I'm not even a Sonic person. I much prefer, like, Mario games to Sonic games. It really all depends. Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, you're gonna love that movie that just got delayed. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Sonic. I mean, not Sonic. Um, the Mario movie got delayed. Yeah, I heard about that. The only thing. Yeah, the not. only thing I have in mind is that I mean, <laughs> if you're going to, then I'm guessing they're focusing more on the quality and making sure that it's done well before they get it out. <clears throat> but at the same time. I hope so. I but, just, I, I just, right. I'm still waiting until I see, like, a legitimate trailer, so that way I can be convinced of whether or not, Chris, like, casting Chris Pratt instead of Charles Martinet was the right Yeah, choice. I'm waiting for, who is I'm also waiting for in the trailer. movie, by the way. I'm sorry? Who is also in the movie, by the way. Mario. And also, like, I feel like I have to preface this every single time. I'm not saying that Chris Pratt can't do a Mario. I'm just saying you have the Mario right fucking there. Exactly. Right. Like, I'm not confused about it because it's a dumb decision. I'm confused about it because it's a confusing decision. It'd like, be like per you've se, got Martin A right there in the next seat on the fucking casting list, and it's just like, alternatively, famous face. It's sort of similar to how I feel with the SpongeBob, um, the one of the many stupid SpongeBob specials they did, the Atlantis Square Pandas, <laughs> where they had David Bowie. That David Bowie. And it was a musical mm -hmm. episode. But they didn't have him sing any song. Instead, yep. they had Tom Kenny and the other characters doing song numbers. Which, okay, fair, but what's the point of having David fucking Bowie right there to do a musical no in a musical short? Why not use him? He sang Starman, for God's sakes! So... <laughs> So this upcoming movie, he says, even though it just got delayed, so this eventually upcoming movie is not even the first time the Mario franchise has snubbed a perfect opportunity. It's 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 just one of those cases that are just... It's really frustrating of... I don't know, like, you, you just sometimes question what the hell they're thinking when they ignore the obvious thing. Like, obviously, aside from the casting, like... Because I've already talked about this stuff before on the podcast. I rambled about uh, Mortal Kombat. I wanted to like the movie, but the thing that was getting in the way was Cole Young. Like, who the fuck is Cole Young? And apparently, the uh, studio Warner Brothers wanted to have a character like him in it to represent the uh, neutral audience. Or the like the neutral audience who has no idea what Mortal Kombat is. You didn't need to do that. Like, What's the funny about that None idea, of them though... Is like Go ahead. What's what's about the Mortal Kombat movie is that they wanted it to be like approachable for newcomers, but it's not at all. Like it is so anti newcomer. It's too stupid for people who like Mortal Kombat, and it's not ex easily approachable enough for people who've never heard of it. It is it is pleasing for no one, which is an impressive feat. I will admit. Like I'm impressed that you made managed to make a movie. For no one. Uh, honestly, Robin, that's nothing new when it comes to game adaptations, especially some other ones. Nah. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, I'm not going to get into it, but there's a certain series on a certain website about a video game franchise that basically gave me the childhood I never got to have. And um, while there are some choices it made that I've come to terms with because they weren't really that big of a deal, some other things I look at, I'm just like... What Pokemon were you smoking? Smash and where can I get some? Because I'd love to be Holy as delusional as that. Uh, Edwin Flores, thank you for the donation. I got over $123. Oh, nice. Jesus. Wait, wait, look at the numbers. Look at the numbers. Uh, I, I, it, it was like 123.45 or something like that. Look, like Captain. Uh, I, I, uh, it, it, only, it was only there for a brief second. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yeah. That's the joke. Oh, you see, That's it's funny bit. because. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh. laugh with me. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ooh. As as somebody who's currently working uh 
on a for one of my finals, I'm making a pitch document for a video game adaptation that I want to make. Um, yeah, adapting a video game is fucking hard, but it's not the hardest thing on the planet. Just make a pick a movie that's or pick a game that's good Workable. or would work as a movie. Yeah, like or, okay, and, <clears throat> go ahead. Yeah, it's it's not I, hard. Like, <sighs> okay, so I, I don't was, know. I will say from experience, like. Uh, like back when, you know, when Sonic, like the first Sonic trailer was out and obviously they had that ugly design. Um, I st like at that time I'm sitting there thinking, why would you even make a Sonic live action movie? I mean, at this point, Sonic is not even that relevant. And furthermore, if you really wanted a legit Sonic movie, at the, and I'm saying this when air quotes, um, there was a, what was it called? Sonic OVA, which was based on an anime and it's an hour long, but it's silly, goofy fun. Um, you can find it on YouTube for like 1080p as well for free. Exactly. Yeah. I'm just like, you know, you can just watch that. It's like, why would they have the need to do that? But the movie mm -hmm. comes out um, and it, it started to grow on me as I found out that, you know, they went and changed the, um, they went and changed the character design. Okay, cool. I will give them respect for that. You know, they're actually listening to the criticisms instead of just like finding excuses to pull out of your ass. <clears throat> <laughs> Essentially, that's what they did because you know they could have gone the easy way out and just said, "No, we're still going to release a movie like this and have it, you know, and screw whatever people are saying." But guess what? But it's, yeah, they it's, listened. They listened, and guess what? After the movie was out, I was genuinely surprised. I was like, "They made this movie really fun," and like I'm that after credit scene. Yeah, and I'm, I'm only talking about the the first Sonic movie. We're not getting into any spoilers, but I will say that. You know, Sonic 2 hit the scene, and I was sitting there, like, almost ready to piss myself in excitement at everything that happens. Like, Tails! He's there! And he's like, yeah, he's doing stuff. Knuckles is doing stuff again. I'm trying to avoid spoilers. Oh, yeah. But the point I'm trying to get, the point you're trying well, to I mean, get to is, not... that, is that at the end of the day, they actually listen. These people actually did their research, and they made a video game adaptation of Sonic, or at least the source material. It's not perfect. Some people are going to be like, eh, it's a little bit perfect when he put humans in, but <laughs> they still made it work, and it was fun. Honestly, was, yeah. like, the inclusion of human characters is nothing new to add, because aside from Dr. Robotnik, like, there have been occasions where... Okay, so, as I mentioned this, just keep in mind that I'm only saying this with a pinch of salt, because there was Sonic X where they had him... Uh, but there were times mm. I've seen, like, human characters involved with, um, Sonic before. So it's, like, it's nothing new when I see that. Um, like, okay, so comparatively, some people would argue that, well... So I I took issue with Resident Evil because it didn't follow the games directly. Well, Sonic didn't do it either. It it's, doesn't even have a solid story. It has... It's about execution. Yeah, and within its execution... Uh, Sonic is more about just an ideal lore that goes on behind it. Uh, you have, you know, you have rings to collect and everything. You have, you have big rings that are like portals that lead to bonus stages and such. And guess what? In the movie, they use those as portals. So that's a good use of the source material. Um, the source material was much more loose to adapt it into a movie compared to one that has a story completely laid out for you like Resident Evil did. Mm. So that's the differences there. So yeah, within its execution, you, there's a lot more. It, 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 it's more thought to put into it, and I was, you know, I was very pleased to see uh, where the studio was going at with this. Oh my god, get over there! Not like that. Yeah, <laughs> get over there. Whoop. Ah, I see. At the oh. end of the day, it all matters <laughs> that if you're going to do a video game adaptation. Take into account the source material and try to give the execution all you got. Because yeah, otherwise, I mean, you're either going to get something really good, like Sonic, or you're going to give us complete shit like the Resident Evil movies. Then again, the Resident Evil movies were more of just the director going, Hey, did you guys know I'm married to this woman? Yeah, apparently he likes to show off his wife so many goddamn times. It's like, dude, we don't care about how good your wife is. We just wanted a movie that was based on a game that could translate well to a movie because it had a story and a set of characters right there. And what's his excuse? It would have been too predictable. 
Like seeing like kind of like when you under like when you use, to him it's like watching the first Alien and knowing that Sigourney Weaver is going to be the um, sole survivor and that there's no tension behind who's going to live who's going to die. First of all, uh, the first Alien movie has been known to have rewatch value behind it simply because it's an entertaining movie regardless. It's not about the destination all the time. It's about the journey. And the journey in the first Alien movie was terrifying. Second, I think the gamers would have wanted to see that because it's a story that they know is good and they wanted to experience in the theater. Number three, you're making this for a wide audience who haven't played the games. You know what? Saying a lot when motherfucking Uva Ball looks more professional than this. And Uva Ball literally did all those adaptations just because, hey, you can get money off of this and that's it.